Indie Stream. Let's go. We. Oui. We're adults now.
Hello everyone. Welcome in. Benny, what are you looking at? You you wanna you wanna let me know what's over there, homie? Um, hi everyone. Uh Jose, hello, purple, enjoy your lurk. Torny, hello. Uh Kitten treat, Zia treat, Gidge treat, Zia treat, Caddy treat. Okay, all five treats. Uh, Sun, hello. Zia, hello. Mariska, hello. Uh, Caddy, welcome in. B Gidge, I mean, I, I'm sure I could find something to yell at you about, but just not not that in particular. Hello. Uh, Dune's trying to convince you to get some moon cat. I mean, it seems like it's pretty good. Um, okay, wait, no, okay. Chat, subs, treats, things, scam train. Okay, l okay let me look at the feed. Kitten, thank you so much for the 14 months with Prime. Jen, thank you for the two months in a row, four total with the Prime. LTAC also with the Prime for 18 months. Yeah, we're adults. And Tam with the 21 months. That's a lot of Primes. That's three Primes in a row. Any any other Primers in chat? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to say? Anyway, um, where was I? Um, blah, blah, blah. Sun, hello, did I say hi? I lost my place completely. Ten bucks, hello, LTAC, hello. Um, I really gotta figure out what to do about Budspot. Uh Izzy, yeah, relatable. <laughs> Relate the 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 laptop that just is struggling and doing its best, Izzy. If you're still here listening. <laughs> I don't know how much later math is planning to go. Um and uh, I hope I, I hope I didn't miss anybody. I probably missed someone. Naki, hello. Uh, did I see your reciprocal gradient? Yes, Kidge. Was very nice. Hi, Punch Buggy. Yeah, for the tier two Naki. The the tier the tier two swag is a silver star and the tier three swag is a gold star. Actually, I think I could change what it is. I don't know. Wine would probably put me to sleep, and I'm already tired. So okay, so like usually, I'll admit it. Okay, I usually get in a nap on family day. I did not get in a nap today. <laughs> mm, I hope I didn't miss anybody. And hellos if I did I'm sorry <laughs> oh really oh you think so you think you had my nap yeah I was really I don't there were a couple points when I got very sleepy and then I was like wake up Gonna miss, gonna miss the end, or miss, miss a bonk, or miss a, I don't know. Accidentally ban somebody. That happened. I'm still not quite sure exactly what happened. I just know that it was my fault. I felt, I felt appalled. I think that's safe to say. Mr. Beanie, your face is kind of dirty. Just a little bit dirty, sir. Why so? You got allergies? A taco run. Nice. That's so... I don't know that I'm going to get tacos, but I might like do some kind of food run tomorrow because I want to start stream early. But if I start stream early, that means that I need something that's like easy to eat in the middle of stream, which sometimes could be something at home, but sometimes it makes more sense to like go out and grab something. Okay, can you back up just a little bit so you're not right at the edge? And go back. Back. Good boy. Like that. Thank you for the scam train, you guys. Too much or not enough? If you stop, what do they do? Hello. <laughs> Pretty soon. Oh, I'm going to have to do that streamer homework. 
to see if the other noise suppressor is workable so that we don't lose beanie sounds. Hello. Mm. <laughs> there he goes, yeah. So, of course, I don't know. With cats, that's mixed. It's either, oh, finally they stopped, or, oh, how dare they stop? I'm leaving. It's, it's hard to tell on camera, but he's, like, so close to the edge of the chair, too. Can you get back? Back. Like, like... A little bit sassy. You're very insistent. You use a very hungry boy, apparently. So he would like me to believe you're not starving. <laughs> You've fallen into his trap, ten bucks. Slowly. Yeah, I, you know, I heard from a couple people that it was nailed in. I was like, what? <laughs> mm, but thank you, Luke. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, maybe I should have put that in my title. Maybe I should have. Catch the vod later. Just wanted to say hi. Yarn for you. Thank you so much for the 14 months with Prime. Holy moly. I, I, okay. I almost said maybe I should have done. Okay, don't, don't drop this. Okay, that was almost my finger. That I, thank you, thank you, Yarn for it. I hope, I, it, I hope you enjoy the VOD. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I was gonna say I should have done a, a video for it, but all my videos are literally already for it. But I also, I had no idea that this nail day was even happening, so. <sighs> I look tired. It's okay. Just keep your eyes on the other cam, everyone. <laughs> That's so cute, Ginger Snap. Yeah, I don't know who they did feature in there. I mean, I've been gone most of the day. I just got home a little while before starting stream. Did anybody else watch it? <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if Luke could just be like, "Oh, you probably know these these and these nail streamers or nail YouTubers," but Oh, for... It's a peely. It literally just popped. That's all of the treats. That's all five. What did they put in these treats? <laughs> what? I'm saying. No, they're the. I guess I here's easier, better, weirder, too much light with the ring light on. Okay, yeah, these do belong to you. I'm showing the people the catnip fever but like he's not even that excited for like real catnip well I guess he is but like I don't know how much catnip do they really put in there but 
like it's not like he he literally has actually he there's catnip in the sock behind him he has plenty of catnip accessible to him yeah there's catnip inside of here hear it I'll smush it and then it'll smell more like catnip and then you could smell this and you can play with it except you probably won't Yeah, Beanie will eat fresh catnip. Like, straight up eat it. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I, I'm forever just struggling with the lighting in general with this fucking ring light. I hate it. Um... I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say, where the fuck is the camera? I don't know what we're putting on the nails. I considered possibly another scoot marble because that actually went relatively well, except I haven't gotten a nicer brush yet, which I kind of wanted to before I did another. Luke, you got my okay. So thank you. I feel like I'm not entitled to that compliment because like I'm like this needs to come out like it's so grown out I need to like it's getting all frizzy I need to I don't know I don't know if I want to go directly into some different braids or what hi entropy so counting this one that literally just came off of me, I've popped four peelies on this. Also, guess what? I filled up my sesh feet. What is this? Is this uh? Oh God! What? Help me with the name, somebody. The the black glitter. I look completely washed out. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted by my own looks. Anyway, pretty soon we will be cracking into the new fresh bottle of Sesh V. So you guys say goodbye. Well, maybe not quite yet, but pretty soon to the sparkly streak. Yeah, they were pretty thick. Also, well, this this one, I, like, chipped the corner of the nail again. I swear. Some of the gel has come off of this one, too, and I don't know if I want to replace it or not. Because we had it on there to reinforce. There's not actually a break, and I think that the part that I was attempting to reinforce was part of the part that we... <sighs> this also. Hold on. <sighs> No, not that one. This one. Um. Okay. Uh. Like you can see, there's like not any gel left on that side, but then there's like some gel right there, but then there's also not any gel left on that side. So, you know, it's really hard not to pick at. Hi, Dino. A theme for your E. F gift mushrooms. Wait, what is E F? Gift mushrooms? Well, I feel like I missed the conversation. Let me scroll up here. No, did I miss a conversation previously about gift mushrooms? I mean, you might finally be coming to your senses, Gidge. Water is a normal thing that normal people drink because it's, like, important as well as it should be refreshing. All chocolate is yummy to some degree. (laughs) 
evil occult mushrooms? But wait, but but do it doing them for what? Benny. Oh. PB powder. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, Jamba Juice, do they still have that? They might have taken that off the menu. You used to have something that was kind of like that. And now I love some Jamba Juice and I love like a peanut butter cup, but it was a bit much. Oh, okay. See, I was just confused by the lack of keychain knowledge and the lack of remembering what EF stood for. Now it's all coming back to me. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I didn't miss a previous conversation. I just forgot about a previous conversation, which is very on brand probably about as on brand as weird white balance <laughs> I I just okay I'm not a camera person you might be saying Clay you've been taking pictures of your nails for a very long time I hate fucking around with cameras please camera just do the camera thing don't make me have to fix you and push buttons like look at this this is this is not the fucking same like I hate it, son. I I just want to. I it it's fucking the future. It should know. <sighs> anyway. Wait, depending on what thing your microwave broke. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to do more like oven cooking and like reheating things in the oven, but the microwave is still really convenient for many things. Mm. Yeah, I just, I... It's overwhelming and I I want like not bad pictures, but also like I just I I don't care. I don't want I don't wanna fuck with it. And so then I just end up like it's passable. Like you guys can see this. Well if I fucking make sure that it's in focus, you can see it. You guys can see this and this is a nail stream, so fuck what my face looks like, it's whatever. I hope I okay. I pro you know, you ever just realize like you repeat yourself a lot? I'd love to see pictures, Clay. You probably already said that. Well, just in case I didn't, I'd love to see some pictures. Mm. <laughs> Micro. I mean, microwave is something. When it breaks, it's like yeah, we gotta just go replace that because. It's it's when you need it, you need it. Or, I mean, I guess when you want it, you want it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, son. Or, like, so the easiest way to make leftovers that are just kind of, eh, way better is just to reheat them in the oven. But some leftovers, like, actually don't need the oven. I can't think of any, right? Like, chili. Okay, let's say you have some leftover chili, which is arguably better than first day chili. Like, you don't really want to, like, fucking put that in the oven or get out a pot or pan again and, like, reheat that shit. Like, you reheat it in the microwave. <sighs> Ooh. What kind of a TV are you looking at, son? It's math. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm in such a weird mood. I'm tired. Hmm. I want to be playing Outer Wilds and I can't until tomorrow. Hi everyone. Welcome on in. 
I have questions, but I don't want to ask any of them because like it, I wasn't planning on not watching and then it just so happened to line up perfectly with when I was about to leave to go home. So I was like, well, I guess I just like bow out, right? Um, but welcome on in Raiders. I hope you enjoyed the end of Math's Outer Wild stream. If you would like more Outer Wilds, I'm going to be doing my own Easter egg hunting and a recap of my playthrough tomorrow. And the only thing I wish is that I could just have like a live feed to math getting to watch some of my clips because that would be lovely. Um, but yeah, Mika, Jaded, uh horny coming in with the raid also and kitten and interrupt us hello jill oh my god okay i know i'm not like looking at you but if i was i would not be able to look at you because oh my god the panic when i realized what i had done and i did not immediately know how to fix it because i've never like banned anybody that i like didn't intend to ban <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> Um, yeah, the re I think the recap stream is going to be really good. <laughs> yeah, a week from today is Tears of the Kingdom, and a week from today is also my five year stream anniversary. So, we're going to do something. <laughs> You're scared, Gidge? I mean, I had some moments where I was scared too math guest star okay i don't know how the guest star works are you serious math oh my god would people pay for that how many subs do we need to get me in math to <laughs> no i okay like it's gonna i don't i will i okay, we'll talk maybe we'll talk hi dwarf No, I didn't accidentally ban Gidge, although that would have been funny and I probably would have tried to turn it into a joke. I banned Jill. I didn't I didn't mean to do anything. I just like accidentally like full on palmed the touch screen of my Chromebook when I was trying to move it. And then I was like, oh, I hope I, did, I hope that didn't do anything. No, I didn't. I would I would have told you if I did. Yeah, no, okay, look, well, okay, wait, no, I scrolled up, like, just, like, a minute to look at something, and now I can't catch back up to chat, you guys, let me catch up, okay, the sounds, okay, don't say anything else more, though, Gidge, I mean, although the people coming with math, obviously, probably are not, I'm sorry about the helicopter, are probably not worried about spoilers, but there might be people here in my nail art stream that are not interested in spoilers, it's very easy to set up. We would just, we would, we could put math where Beanie goes. Um, yeah. Okay, knowing that there are sounds you consider scary is a spoiler gauge. <laughs> It triggered your motion sickness, kid. No, no. You did it before, and that's the day I removed the easy click ban. Wait, you can move that? You can get. Wait. Okay. T okay. T okay. 10 bucks. Is that native or an extension? <laughs> mm. Lots of lads and a few cuties. No, I don't know what the no was. Fuck. Mm. put math where chad goes mm. we could probably well let's see here there there'd still be room for like three lines of chat <laughs> just imagine mm -hmm. yeah no 10 bucks actually you know that i should have thought about that but what what i am gonna do right now is turn these motherfucking mod icons off. I don't normally ever have them on. 
I rarely, a lot of the people that I mod for don't stream very often or they stream at the same time as me. And uh, usually we're not in like high spoiler territory. It's like to ban bots and shit. Like I don't usually need the delete button. So like math stream was the first time where I had turned on the mod icons. Cause I was, I'm always scared of accidentally pushing a wrong button. Oh, hi artsy. Yeah, I, I, uh, you're um, absurdly quick, 10 bucks. I was trying to be quick a couple times. I felt like I was being quick, but sometimes I felt like I was only being quick from luck. Cause I didn't want to watch the stream zero, but I, <laughs> I needed to do more than just like have chat peripherally in my vision and forget about it every five minutes. Mm. Yeah, I think in the normal course of things, then it's like not, don't you, I don't, like if I'm banning someone, I'm not usually in that, like it's not that big of a hurry, right? Yeah, lag or just like, I don't know, like sometimes, like there, there was one thing I saw and it was like, I didn't understand what the reference was. And then I think you got it, Izzy. And then I asked what it was and it was like, I don't know, it was just some reference that I didn't get, but I, once it was explained, I was like, I could see how it could be spoilery. But uh, yeah, being an active mod is hard. Thank you to all the mods in all of the places. Yeah. I mean, Izzy and I didn't have to ban anybody. We were literally only just deleting messages. Nobody got like timed out at all or anything. Um, mod, I, mod mode is overwhelming. Like the actual mod view. Yeah. I mean, I've been in it. I know that it exists. I don't exist in it. <laughs> hey, cat. Hi, wistful. Whoa. Jesus. It's fine. I mean, it depends too. Um, I don't know. He he left a little while ago. If you listen, you can't hear chat, and it's deleted before I can read it out loud. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that is so shitty. There, I don't, I don't think there was anything like that. There were a few things that just to be on the safe side. And there were a few things that were just like, you know, along the lines of like leading questions or have you done X, but I don't think there was anybody that like did anything maliciously at all. Which is what made it even funnier when certain people got salty. That one dude that didn't even get anything deleted. Okay, I shouldn't like target people or whatever, but that was so dumb. Like they caught such an attitude. It's like, dude, you did you didn't even get purged. What are you what are you mad about? Mm. I mean, it's good if you don't feel like cooking, kitten. Mm. Yeah. I, I think though too, it's just like, I don't know. It, Outer, Outer Wilds community has just, you know, a vibe of wanting people to discover things. Even in a more back seedy Outer Wilds chat, I didn't see anybody heavily spoiling when I popped into Ain's chat. Cause I mean, Ain's chat is huge. And they were roasting him a little bit. Um, yeah, Jill, it was just weird. 
it 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 felt super weird. <laughs> I I mean I don't get it though. I mean who knows what was going on in their head. But um but yeah like even in that chat where there were more people that were like. Like I said, what what I would have considered backseating, uh, nobody was trying to spoil. Um, which, by the way, if anybody doesn't know, I think a lot of you guys, I've I've rated a few times. Ain run, he usually does Dark Souls challenge runs. He's doing Outer Wilds, and uh, I can't say that. Check them out. <laughs> Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Uh, let's just say, interesting start, which probably you can say that about everybody's playthrough, right? What would be a boring start? Don't answer that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interrupt us. And sometimes it, it, it does generally come from a place of, oh, I don't want to watch the streamer struggle or whatever, but like, just, you kind of just got to let the streamer struggle. I mean, Q isn't going anywhere, I don't think. I say that a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, Undertale is bad. Honestly, Hollow Knight is bad. The casual community. Uh, Vin was talking about that last night and I was like, yeah, I can't even argue. Like, I don't think a speedrunner is ever gonna... N none of the speedrunners I know would ever like go on a casual and backseat. Like, that's not happening. But like, I have witnessed the casual Hollow Knight community just like turn somebody completely off the game or like start ruining their experience. Yeah, yeah, Jill. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff like that. Or, or even like in this case, and it would depend. Like in in some games, or depending, most especially on the streamer's instructions, how they feel about being reminded about things that they've already done that maybe they've forgotten. Especially after they've had an epiphany about how convenient it is to use that thing that they had known about but forgotten to use and then later forget to use it <clears throat> i mean uh, who would pop <laughs> not saying what it was because that would be a spoiler i'm just saying i didn't say what it was 10 bucks I'm not saying what it was, but math knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you got you got you got plenty of hum emotes. You got plenty of, you know, eyes emotes and whatever. <laughs> and we had the spoiler chat. That's like uh I mean, I, nothing that I would say that would even be vaguely encouraging would still be not spoilers. Imagine vaguely encouraging words, Gidge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the spoiler chat was good. I, 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 I felt it from a streamer perspective during my playthrough and I saw it from a chatter perspective during Matt's playthrough. Um, and I mean, it felt a little bit too, like when we were discussing like Daniel's Hollow Knight playthrough in my discord. So, you know, we'll, we'll probably continue something similar to that. Not necessarily in an external discord, but like the next time I do, um, a blind playthrough, <sighs> let's see if I can finally get some discord mods and have some secret spoiler chat channels <laughs> okay
Okay, look, nobody saw that thing shiny right there. It's 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 just it's it's so much fun too to just be able to like I don't know. Like there's there's a balance, of course. You don't want chat to be dead on the stream side, but you can't always like get excited when you want to get excited because then that would give something away, right? Mm. Yeah, you can like because you can like mute channels even in your own Discord, right? I mean, usually I keep an eye on everything in my Discord because I don't have any Discord mods. And I obviously wouldn't want just like an unmoderated space. But, uh. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Let's find our edges. Let's get started. We've been just like chatting and ranting and then chatting some more for a little while. We'll be able to, we'll be able to actually talk about actually Outer Wilds tomorrow. I'm going to try and get started early. I do, like, I don't have a time. Although if I have a, a co-host, perhaps I should have a time. But also I was going to start with the Easter eggs that I conveniently did not learn about. We'll see. Which, okay. I'm not, I'm not. Well, okay, never mind. No, I'm not going to say anything. I think it would be great fun to see Simo play. I mean, I think it would be great fun to see most people play, honestly. I can imagine, though, like... Like, it's not for everyone. And it would be really sad if you like get really excited to see someone in particular play and they just like are not a fan. That would be sad. That's why I'm so glad Math liked it. Um. Two o'clock central would be astonishingly early for me, but is possible because I did it the other day. Three or four o'clock central would probably be more likely. Five or six. I would like to get started before them, but I mean, I don't know. I'm bad at scheduling myself. Aww. I somebody mentioned that in my chat or math chat. I think that would be kind you know what though, but honestly, I mean I don't know. I guess it would depend on how it worked. Cause if you could see that there was X amount of spoiler chats, that's a spoiler. And if you couldn't see it, I mean, I don't know, that would just be weird. Cause then would it come up on screen down there? And then in the VOD, does it show what was and was not spoilered for the streamer? Or does it just look like streamer is not responding to like half of the chat? I mean, Gidge, it's worthwhile, I thought. I, there's nothing else I can say that is not spoilery-ish. Spoilery-ish. The last case of Benjamin Fox. I wanted to look into that. I want to... 
I saw, I don't know if it's in yet or if it's coming soon. I saw on Twitter that there's a little, a little, a little lone fungus pet for Haiku because they are friends. Apparently, you know, the de the devs are friends or the devs have decided that the characters are friends or whatever. These ones that popped all popped off really nicely. Oh, we had to reinforce this pinky nail too. I had forgotten about that. Okay, so if we do another scoot marble, the two options I'm considering are like a purplish leaning like color palette or a uh, like an orange leaning color palette <laughs> yeah i i will admit since since it's already out there i was scared Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was scared. I don't know, though. My stubbornness saw me through. Um. Oh, no, Zia. Right after a Manny, too. Black pansy? Is it, is it like a vampy purple? Son? Or is it actually black? Thermal purpled black. Ooh, that was squeaky. Uh, just get rid of this a little bit of extra polish here and I'll show you guys because I realized when I was putting polish away the other day I uh, I somewhat cleaned off the desktop <laughs> I I have so much other like cleaning and shit I need to do because I'm gonna need to move the helmers it's that time of year because I'm gonna need to put in the air conditioner probably like before the end of this month and honestly, I should do it while my nails are short because that's less likely to, you know, be problematic. Wait until the end of this month when they all nice and grown back again and end up breaking one. That would kind of suck. You know, that's actually, that's actually a really good point. I should try to put my air conditioner in soon before my nails were back. Okay. Hello? Okay. I guess this nail is peeling. Honestly, I really probably, I turned off the autofocus. I probably should consider reinforcing it again because of that peeling right there on the edge, but I just don't feel like fucking around with gel right now. So I'm not going to. <laughs> Naki, no. You guys see me sweating and cursing. I don't know. Once again, you know, it comes down to the space issue, but it is what it is. You know, the Helmers are here. The window is there. <laughs> and there's not really anywhere else that either of them could be that you know I 
I reconsidered that as it was coming out of my mouth because it made it sound like the window was just easily relocatable. <laughs> Math. Hmm. <laughs> no, ten, you see, ten bucks is only scared of spoilers in streams where he's not got the power of bonkage. I was so I was so surprised when ten bucks said you could watch that clip which I shall not name. But that was what made me like, it's so fun to see your reaction. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I want to include a shimmer again also, cause you know, the shimmer fucking made things difficult, honestly. But like check check this out right and I mean we could even right <laughs> it really is a good clip um I mean, we also could consider other options like with these colors, but then too, I was like, well, then, you know, also then what's left from the other, like from the other collections, like then you get into like pink. And red and like, I don't know, what is this coral? Right, so somewhere in here there's like that combination. I don't know if this belongs, like does that belong? Or I mean there's like you know a very a very pink section. Just gradient them all. Mm. Plus I'm indecisive. I guess we could just like try, we could make a couple like tests. When I'm done, Jill. Yeah, I don't know. The orange is one might actually be like one of the hardest ones to I don't know if I would want that coral in there. Of course, how many would I even want? Probably not five if we're doing a scoop marble. Last time we did four. Three is also okay, depending on what the uh, the gradient skittle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That doesn't that doesn't break into fingers. You've done a gradient skittle, yeah. I guess if you did a horizontal gradient or two colors per finger on both hands. Oof, you could get through all of them. Oh man, it's early to be yawning. Let me grab the uh, sketchbook. Um, 
I mean, I think with the puzzles, I'll be able to get the Easter eggs. Then we'll do a recap. Then I'm gonna go Chivo hunting. And once I've exhausted my brain, I might ask for guidance on that. But by the time I'm done, I'm hoping that I'll have, be able to say I've seen most things. Yeah. We'll we'll have we'll have to see. I don't I don't it's it's hard to say. I mean Matt's playthrough ended up being like a third of the time of mine. When all said and done, I think. Is that true? How many hours did I put in? Yeah, I bet if you took out the just chatting hours. <laughs> Son, if you do your 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 gambling. If you do your gambling. Cause like if there's one thing that incentivizes me to actually do the thing, it is outer wilds. Oh, okay, ma'am. These are the tests that we did last week. Last Friday, in fact. Uh, for what ended up being called simply the spring scoop marble. Um... Let's What is today? The fifth. Sixteen. Okay, so you had, was today six or seven? So minus seven, we're gonna call it an hour per stream for just chatting. So that would put you at 47. Well, today was eight, that put you at 46. Plus possibly, what, five hours for your first? Your first playthrough that you didn't continue. My total playtime is 116 hours. Although, I mean, there's a chunk of just chatting in there for me as well. Oh my god. Stop. Colette. Stop. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't get any nap today. You know what I do have? Where's my pockets? Butterscotch. Oh. You actually do have to go to bed. Mika, sorry, not sorry, question mark. Do we add this one too? Maybe we do just the creams. Hmm. Hmm. Why does this have a sticker on it? Okay. I hope you get some good rest, Mika. Let's get some acetone.
Okay. Mm -mm. We'll zoom back in when we're done. I assume you guys want to see the, uh... color mixing and whatnot. Welcome back, Mr. Bean. Hello, how are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you coming up here? Yeah. How's this baby? Yeah, I've got butterscotch in my mouth. What about it? You don't like it? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get down. Get back in Beanie's chair. Go on. Good boy. What? I don't... Brush is clean. Mm. Ooh, I bet that'd be pretty zero. Black or white base or color base. Here comes the helicopter again. Almost getting a little bit of cell action here. That's kind of weird. Also, it turns out that was quite a bit of polish. Feels like it needs a little something. True.
Would the lighter pink possibly pop more? Or... Mm, I don't know. Maybe we try the fiery combo next. Let's try Let's try all creams again, although I don't I don't love the way these look though. No, maybe I do stick in a shimmer. don't know. I do know we probably want to put it last. Of course, really, should it maybe have been in the middle? Oh, I just don't know. Trying to get some kind of flamey flame. Whoop. Wiggles. I feel like I actually don't like how the lighter yellow is working here. Or the lighter orange, I mean. Whoa. I don't like that. It's not horrible. But I don't like it. What don't I like? It's not enough contrast and the contrast there is I don't like well okay well I do like the red what if we put the red with the purple and the blue that would still be too dark though wouldn't it What if we do... Hmm. I, I don't expect to like this one, but I'm gonna try it. First one needs a lighter blue. I mean, I have this one out, but it's like not that much lighter and it's the shimmer formula. So I, di I didn't actually like purposely pull anything out. These are like the last several Orly collections that I have uh, received that were not put away yet. And some of which were chilling on my desk for long periods of time. This looks so pink. Mm. 
you know, maybe maybe it'll look cool. Maybe it'll look cool. Why is my phone beeping at me? Whoa! It doesn't look cool. Actually doing that was kind of cool. The first one is still the best as far as how the colors are playing in the scoop marble. Whoa. Hmm. Blurry? N not blurry. Hopefully mostly not blurry. Okay, are you muted now, phone? Okay. Come on. You can do it. Well, I touched it. The blue one, apparently. Fucking. There. Actually, it's not horrible. What if we split the difference here? What if we do pink, red, and the metallic orange? Maybe the metallic orange should be next to the pink? I don't know. It's too late. I want it on that end for scooping purposes. I expected to like this more by replacing the lighter orange I didn't like with the pink that I actually did like but I don't like it Yeah, like I wanted more fiery vibes, but the orange isn't popping out in that, and I don't like the lighter orange that's in that one. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck. Maybe we do purple, pink, and red. 
Let's try that. Like, I just want one of these color combinations to grab me. Whoop. I feel like the red doesn't play the nicest with others, but I really like it. Maybe this should have been the blue instead of the purple. And then we would just have some areas that automatically blended to purple. Try this again, but with blue camera plus. Maybe we put the blue in between to enhance our chance of purple. Oh, we're getting quite a bit of flow on the pink here. Oh, there's some... Yeah, see the cells going on in there? That's kind of weird. I don't know how this is going to look. Whoa, it's a beanie hair. Well, that a little bit messed up the flow of things. <laughs> you know... Maybe it's the purple instead of the red. Maybe it's the original combination, except instead of that purpley pink, we use the pinky pink. Because I don't like the way the red looks in this, and you guys can't even see very well. Oh. Yeah, son, when there's a lot of stuff, it can really be hard to get started. Sometimes you just got to pick a box and work on that box until it's either back in a box, but hopefully better labeled or organized or elsewhere or gone. Like, what if that, but like without the red? Do we replace the red with purple?
I mean, I guess we try it with purple. Where's Benny trying to go? When? Okay. I mean, maybe the purple should be on the other side of the pink. Now try it. I don't dislike this. In fact, it might be, uh, I don't know. It's not defined enough to be my favorite. Maybe, maybe none of these color combinations are gonna work. It started out good. I didn't like where it ended up. Yeah, Zia. Housing prices overall are just like, kind of absurd. Hey, Panda, welcome. Yeah, I tried to be organized the last time I went through my boxes, which is in progress. And I mean, I think I succeeded for the most part, but I didn't finish. I'm okay. I'm not happy with any of these. blue dark pink light pink you mean the red dark pink or do you mean this this one <gasps> fuck that kind of hurt <sighs> let's try it <sighs> yeah plants I mean it's a double double edged sword Definitely. Is this going to be too pink? That pink almost reads purple in this. Oh, we're getting a lot of curdling again. Hmm. Whoa. This feels even more subtle than the purple. Whoa, whoa. Well, not that section as much, but it's because I didn't get very much of the other per pink. I, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Mm. 
I mean, it is, but it's like not enough to like do anything cool with. Like. Where's the one where you could really see it quite clearly? I mean, some of these are cool. I just don't feel like they have quite enough definition, uh, especially to be on the nail. Oh, that's not coming across very well on camera. It's like right in this area around here. Camera's struggling to focus too. Right here, you can see a little bit of them too. It's like just enough to disrupt the pattern. See like right, right there, there's like three pink bubbles on top of the purple. Like if, if like where my orange stick is pointing, it's like boop, boop, boop. It's, it's very small and subtle. I notice it almost more when I'm drawing through the, the polish. Just because it's not leaving a clean, a clean pull behind. But yeah, I mean, some of these are like, okay. Like we got some nice shapes here. Mm. Add some glitter and make it a galaxy. <sighs> Help, potato. What's up? Um, sun, sun is correct, by the way. Water is delicious. Everyone should take a drink of their delicious water. Ah. You want me to move your sock so you can sit here? Hey, where are you going? What are you, what are, what are you looking at? What's in there? Beanie. What are you doing? Why don't you get in your chair? Up. Up. Good boy. You want to try again? Come over here. I warn you, it smells like nail polish. You know what? Maybe. No, I don't like that idea. Whoa. Imagine Kitty's not acting up for attention. Okay, I like the blue and the pink. I don't like the red. I don't like the purple. I don't like the other pink. What about the other, other pink? The lightest pink. Hmm. Na what is name? Wait, is it in the Hollow Knight or is it in that fucking crab game? I can't help you with that crab game, Potato. You're on your own. Yes, I'm sorry for the background noise. It's pretty warm in here. My window is open. Roar. Risk of rain? I don't know what that is. I mean, I'm a, I've heard of it. I don't know what that means. Like, I have no context to understand that game. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. Bright pink, blue, a goodly amount of blue, light pink, okay.
Okay. I kind of dig this. Kind of. Elephant champion would be funny too. <sighs> Peony champion. Do we want to do this in a different order? I think I think we run with this color combination. You guys, what do you think? Like the the darkness in me wants to go with one of the darker ones, but I feel like this is better. Let I do want to try. Let's do a couple more toasts. Let's try blue, pink, pink. Although I feel like blue in the middle is possibly better. This is actually, uh, like, I kind of like some of what's coming out of here. Yo! <laughs> I love that we've collectively agreed to bully Gidge on the water thing. Only bully people for things that are for their own good. Actually for their own good, not just for their own good in your opinion. Yes, Gidge, we're horribly cruel for wanting you to be a well hydrated... I was going to say, like, sack of meat. Because <laughs> isn't that what we all are? But, uh... I was like, I wonder if that would be taken out poorly. I 
Like, I feel like we got a lot of good purple in there. Should we try the other direction? I think we should. Um, so that would be with a blue on the end instead of on the front. Everyone should drink water. And if you don't drink water and don't want to be bullied about it, lie about it. It's the internet. I don't know what you're doing. If Gidge didn't want us to yell at them, all they would have to do would be like fake say, okay, okay, I'll get some water. Jeez, guys. And we'd be like, ha ha, got him. All the while blissfully unaware. Yes, kids, I'm recommending lying on the internet. Oh. That's a lot of MSLP goggle. That is a lot of MSLP goggle. <laughs> Holy moly, Ray Ray with the 34 months. I hope you're doing well tonight. Ooh. Okay, that like went like literally to the edge of the page for no good reason. Aw, oh, Ray Ray, thank you so much for the support. Cold brew green tea water. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, I know Gidge has said that their water is gross before too. Camera. Some pretty, do we like, call this one? this too what do you guys think or I guess this three I guess I could also try an alternate version of that maybe I should do that do a third little test start because I started with the bright pink before and then the blue in the middle and then the light pink what if we do light pink then blue then dark pink on the end Feel like I didn't use enough blue there. Is this still enough to get a good test? Ooh. I feel like so if we if we label these check it out we'll use Roman numerals one two three four then I don't have to look upside down right they look the same upside down and right side up right so this was dark pink blue light pink this was blue dark pink light pink this was light pink dark pink blue this was light pink blue dark pink maybe you don't remember any of the combinations that just came out of my mouth 
but it, it, the, these two are basically reverse of each other. These two are basically reverse of each other, right? Interestingly, like this one is light pink dominated on this side and dark pink on this side, same opposite here. But these two, you don't see the same uh, separation of color. You know what I'm saying? Is that, is that better? Possibly, probably. I feel like this one blue is more dominant being on the leading scooping edge rather than on the ending scooping edge. Did I say Roman numerals? No. What are they called? Yeah, tick marks. Yeah, no. Okay, no, that's what I meant. That No, that's what, that's, that's what I meant. Because then five would be, right. <laughs> you like two? Yeah, one and two. Let me zoom in too, also. We can look at it. Let me, let me close these. Hold on. You know what? I should make notes here. Hold on. This is pink, blue, light pink. This is blue, pink, light pink. This is light pink, pink, blue. This is light pink, blue, pink. Whoa. Um, so that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. I feel like I actually got the best shapes on three, but I like the color balance on two better. Which I mean, the shapes are of course, the I, you, I can't just plan to reproduce that, two or four. Two is the best, but it's still too much pink? Or just do you mean the design in general? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what Dino always says. Of course, how could we forget what Dino always says? It, it's a... Uh... It possibly used to be my least favorite color. My least favorite color is currently probably yellow or orange. I do like that these blend into like a purple vibe, even though the purple is not included. Actual, like, I feel, I feel like somewhat I'm getting better with my actual scoop technique, too. Also, possibly I should, like, pre-scoop my brush. Because it feels like sometimes the polish, like, flows a little better or slash differently, like, after the first... After the first, uh... Scoop. I wonder if I can try to close this a little bit. 
this brush is actually cracked on the side so sometimes the bristles start going wild out of the little crack I'm gonna try and like pinch it closed a little bit Did that actually help? Maybe a little bit. I pinched it closed with my clippers. Mixing the spicy thing leads to weird things happening though. I mean, I thought about including like this or like this. but it's it acts them it acts weird like i feel like we're getting better scoopy patterns without a shimmer in there i mean we could do all shimmers but the shimmers don't really go together should we test in all shimmers blue and purple and what light orange or dark orange <sighs> Maybe the lighter orange. Uh. Oh, why is that so hard to open? A burnt orange. Yeah, I well, I don't have one out. This is the darkest orange I have out. Okay, let's just try this just to just to see just for uh, funsies. They're definitely different kinds of shimmers. The blue is more metallic. The orange too, I guess. The purple's going to get overwhelmed here. I feel like where did the orange go? I hate this. It's doing some interesting things. Whoa. But I'm not a fan. Okay, Gidge, now I shall spend the rest of stream being suspicious. It's doing some interesting things, but I don't like it. Is it from right there? I don't even know what I put my hand in. God damn it, dude. And on my thumb. Yeah, the shimmers are definitely doing cell things. Oh, she's trying to jump on my nails. Yeah.
Ja, äh, äh. Mm. Yeah, the, like, so... Orly shimmers just do that. Like, let me put a couple out here. Give them a moment to settle. I would kind of like to do an actual blob cure with one or some of the shimmers. See? Ooh, it actually is really, really pronounced on the orange one, but it's harder to see on camera. Yeah. Look at that orange one. You know. Hmm. Some dry and stick them on like rhinestones. I know that sounds like way too much work. I'm not trying to do anything complicated at this hour. Plus, these would be way too big for rhinestones. Okay. people giggling out there. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Fuck. This seemed like a really good idea. It's eating it. Well, that's not... That's not gonna work out. Can you see that? It's just, it's, it's sucking it in. Like it looks cool for a minute and then it just starts bleeding in from the edges. I thought maybe I could, I mean, even look at these, like once I've been dipping in and out of them and these are still over here, you know, doing their thing. I thought if it could keep, you know, a solid, Yeah, but then we wouldn't get the cells. Like, it doesn't look like that if you just paint it on. It has to be dolloped. Like, uh... Here are the two oranges. like in just a normal painting situation. Like they're almost kind of metallic shimmer. And there's the, uh, there's the blue. Oh, 
Also, that's how that one is drying. Wow. Like, it's, it, I'm not saying it's not cool. Just not quite what I was, you know, okay, hold on. Maybe, what if, <gasps> excuse me. I took, I, I took, I mean, would this look cool if it had like some non curdled parts like running through it? Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't I don't like this color combination and I feel like I don't know, should I try it with just blue and purple? I mean, should I do scoop marbling for curdling, not for scoop marbling? Or should I t throw in another, like a cream to separate the curdling? You know what I mean? And then like this end is like less curdled. Okay, if we do these two, or should we do the copper one? I'm so indecisive. I mean, we could either we could do the blue and the purple shimmers with either blue or purple. Or we could do the orange shimmers with either coral or red or light orange. So these are the shimmers I have out right now. And I know you guys are digging, I'm not digging it. I'm not digging the orange with the blue particularly. Although, I don't know. I mean, maybe if it was... <sighs> I mean, maybe I would like it better if they had something to tie them together, like the red. I would like to note, as though you would be surprised at all, we have gone way over my testing estimate. Is there a green shimmer? We used it last week. I don't know where. It, no, wait, that's not a shimmer. That's not a green. That's a blue. No, that's not a blue. What colors did we use last week? It's a teal. But I literally just used that. And I know that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to use it again, but I'm not inclined. No, you guys, we just, we literally just, you guys, it was, it was in here. It's in there. That, that darker at the tip, that's the teal. I mean, I know. <laughs> I mean, the whole point was to just use something that I already had out that I could hopefully test quickly and get on my nails quickly and go to bed early so that I could start stream early tomorrow. <sighs> Wait, that, that what? The teal? Overthinking, I mean, yeah.
We won't, it won't curdle with two creams. We need, we need two shimmers and a cream if we want to try curdling it. Which one do you want me to wait? Okay, blue shimmer, purple shimmer, blue. Blue shimmers and purple shimmer with the blue cream. Or did you mean with the teal? I don't, I mean, that's what I'm calling it because that's what it reminds me of. I mean, it doesn't feel like fluid art because it's not fluid polish and I'm not doing a fluid technique. It didn't add anything. I mean, I guess I, I could call them cells. That doesn't seem very on brand. Blue, purple, teal. I just, I get worried of posting things that are too similar. And how much more similar than actually the same. Blue, purple, teal, oil slick. All right, all right. Well, though, I mean, It's just gonna be another clusterfuck here. Uh, I guess the problem is I don't love any of these and I'm in that position again where I feel like I definitely need to put nail art on my nails in order to put up a nail art tutorial on the YouTubes. Really, I should have done nail art earlier in the week, but I was a little bit distracted. Like, I started popping peelies on probably, like, Wednesday. Alright. Whoa. Okay. Uh... Ah. ah, the puddles are fighting me. I don't know. I don't know if I should be using a different technique. Than like a normal scoop marble. Dwarf with the gift sub to Biorto. Seems strangely out of the blue. Wait, oh, you were restreaming? Wait, was there a race? Oh my god. Okay, now I'm not gonna say that this isn't cool. But, whoa. Do we think we can do this consistently? Do I need to adjust my technique? Do I need to question mark, question mark? <sighs> I 
does this purple look like? Un... Was this part of the, it was part of the Hopeless Romantic Collection? On this page that got some shit on it for some reason. I don't even know what it was. I've been very diligent about putting my notebook away since that happened. So they're fuck. They're not the same finish of shimmer. Cause it's got quite a it's got like a duochrome shift to it rather than being somewhat metallic. What would you change it to? Curdled? <laughs> oh. Overthinking. Um, it's paused right now because I need to decide what I'm going to do with it because you have to actually go to Butts Boss channel to change the word now. <laughs> this intimidates me because I feel like I'm working with something that I don't understand and as soon as I try to put it on my nail it's going to fail to work but I don't have a red shimmer or a pink shimmer dino. I mean, Tony, that's much easier when I'm not trying to make a tutorial. <laughs> I mean, how am I supposed to explain what the fuck I'm doing when I don't know what I'm doing? Don't listen to the Minko, the the Midnight Brain. I started reading Cinco de Mayo while I was reading Midnight. Therefore, Minko. Celebration glitter. <laughs> God. Should we move the purple? Like the purple very much blends with the blue as it is. Should we be doing... Blue, then green, then purple? Teal? This has horrible cells. I guess they're developing still. They seem way worse than the other ones though. Is it because I wiggled less? Is it because I... Do the wiggles actually help the cells? 
Well, there's some more. Gosh, is the purple even worth it? I mean, I'm sure it's doing something. The cells definitely changed. Or maybe. <laughs> See, what if I end up with like a section like this on my nail though? How do I avoid that? Like an uninteresting section. Those. Put hollow on it? Why? I mean, if you put the hollow on it, then it's going to be harder to see the selves. to make it more interesting. Wait, do you mean just the uninteresting corner? Oh, oh, have you been hanging out with Dino? If I get an uninteresting part, oh my God. I'm stressed. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna push my cuticles back and think about things also think about next week what you guys i don't know i i thought i had good ideas for my anniversary stream and then i'm like maybe all that is really really dumb that doesn't really sound like anything special and now i'm like i don't know what i'm doing i'm filled with doubt a time frame for now or for my anniversary stream i mean it's gonna be like anniversary weekend i'm gonna stay home on friday i'm gonna you know because that's the actual day and then probably like do like you know continue whatever i'm doing or do other things on like saturday and sunday like i, I, I don't know uh, yeah i know a lot of people have other commitments also so that's kind of like maybe i don't make too big of a deal about it like maybe i don't know like no, nobody's gonna be worrying about my stream anniversary with tears of the kingdom just dropped And if you care, and I don't mean that you're nobody, I just mean that like a very, very lot of people are gonna have things that matter far more to their time. Recreate my first Twitch stream. That sounds awkward. Luke, three months to Dino. Thank you, Luke, that's very kind. My first Twitch stream was a water marble. <gasps> Fuck, ow. It was very awkward. No. You're not getting Tears of the Kingdom on release, Zia? Do like intentionally, do you mean, or just like due to happenstances? Or is there only one happenstance? On purpose. You wish you could get Lubu? Did we decide that Lubu was discontinued? 
I mean, you could probably still find it somewhere. Anyway, I like, okay, so I thought about like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I had a lot of thoughts come and go. I thought about doing like a small subathon leading up to the anniversary where there were like tiny goals of ways to like make a Hollow Knight rando more cursed, like of shit that I don't normally add to my randos. And then I was like, that just doesn't feel special at all. And plus like, you know, like having a subathon at all is like weird, let alone like not even on the actual anniversary. I was like, I don't know about that. And I was like, maybe like I thought about couple other things I thought about maybe doing Holland as to vocalize because I still haven't done that but then again it's like I don't know is that really like is Hollow Knight special um and then uh I'm sure that's probably already happened Gidge I thought about doing like a tier list of like Hollow Knight skins and there's already a tier list, but the, God, they did such a poor shit ass job on the pictures. I don't like it. Even though they got their pictures from my list, they didn't properly resize them. So they're all cropped absolutely inanely. I don't like it. So if I did that, I would have to like <laughs> make a nice one that I would be willing to use. Um, return of Kitchen Mommy. I don't know. Colonel's Colonel. Wait, like, wait, so like, uh, Chef Squad Kitchen Mommy or I Love You Kitchen Sanders Kitchen Mommy? Chef Squad. This song is so good. Mm. It has been a while since we chef squatted. Since New Year's? I don't know. And I don't know, like, I mean. I don't know. Do I want to like do a subathon thing? Do I not want to do a subathon thing? Do I want to do like extra time or do I want to like have like goals? And I was like, what kind of goals do I fucking want? I was like, oh, this is this is, like fucking is way too hard. I don't know. Especially when I've still got so many other goals out there. Adding more goals. <laughs> Plus, I just, I don't. You know, I was gonna say it's too bad that this, that my Outer Wilds recap wasn't lining up perfectly for my anniversary, but maybe it's not because there are a lot of people that maybe aren't gonna be able to come to that because they haven't played yet and they don't want spoilers. So maybe that's not something that would have been perfect for my anniversary. Although like, I do like the idea of a clip review and those are usually pretty funny. But the Outer Wild clips spoilers trans design I love trans design rando or community game night yeah I mean like I said I thought about doing like the hollowness vocalized as as a rando with maybe like some extra like some extra connections or whatever. I, I just, I don't know. I just don't know. Like, I like the idea of like, it's a milestone and I kind of like the idea of celebrating it. But when it comes to the idea of like, how, how do I celebrate this? Like, I don't know. <sighs> what 
What are we? What are? What are is this the one that's supposed to be like Lubu, but is not? No, that is Lubu. Trans design. It makes me want to just go in there and poke around and look for things. Start a new... Yeah, that's what Sun said, Gidge. Uh, a new Stardew Valley farm? That seems like something that would be a good thing to do if I was actually doing like a timer subathon. I don't stop playing Stardew until you stop subbing. <laughs> I play Stardew until the clock runs out. But I don't, I don't know about that. Cause like, that's intimidating. Cause like, what if, okay, number one, like there's many fears involved. What if you do it and then nobody subs and then there's no clock and then there's no hype. Number two, what if you do it and a whole bunch of people sub and the clock is gigantic and there's too much hype. Number three, what if, cause you're scared that no one subs that then you put the additive minutes too high and then you end up in situation number two. Hmm. Yeah, kitten. I actually, so I have a Stardew farm. Uh, it's called Pudding Farm. And it is at, I believe, 98% completion. Uh, and I intended to get perfection on it. And then I kind of ran out of gas. Um, and then at one point I was kind of wanting to play again. And it turned out all my mods were out of date. And I was just like not in the mood to even figure out what mods I had on, even though I think I have a command that says exactly which mods I was using. And so I haven't played, actually like played Stardew in like a couple years. But yeah, I did the whole new area. Um, like that save is pretty... <laughs> hey Mags um shipping is $28 wolfda I'm kind of surprised but then again I'm not because it's Canada there's got to be some kind of like other stock us that's like in Canada though yeah maybe not I don't know I just feel like ha like somebody in Canada should recognize this by now and like offer a Canadian based stockery stock stockery that's not oh that's a thought son Um, where was I? Oh, Stardew. Yeah, I like Stardew. I got quite into Stardew on two different occasions. I have, I think I have three Stardew farms. Two of them were stream farms and one of them was an offline farm. <laughs> oh, Jill, that's true. That is, uh... I guess technically that might fall under community games, except that most of the community portion, like I already finished, except for whatever was added in the DLC. Like, I think when I played Cult of the Lamb is actually when we started talking about Stardew again, because I was really enjoying the village management aspects of Cult of the Lamb, uh, a little bit more than the fighting aspects. And it reminded me of Stardew. Okay, look. Sorry, not sorry.
Yeah, Call to the Lamb was very fun. I enjoyed Call to the Lamb. Um... I mean, or I even thought about, like, maybe just, like, a, a little fun new game. It would be a good time to start. Not, like I said, not a, not a big brain other, you know, puzzle game or anything. Just, like, a little fun in-between game. Like, when I played Haiku, that was really fun. And we finished that in three days. Like, it wasn't really a game where I was going to get stuck into it for super, super long time. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I want it to be special without, like, being stressful, which I guess is kind of hard. So here's a question. And I've never done fluid art. How does top coat affect fluid art? Yeah, I don't really know how long lone fungus is, math. It is on my list. I don't know if it's on sale right now. Top coat doesn't change fluid art. Does it need to be like 100% dry dry? Because I feel like, I mean, Sesh V itself levels so nicely, I feel like it could just like wipe away the cells, which would be kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I, I have trouble thinking of things like that. That's like something that could be met and done right away you know what I mean so I'm always impressed when I see like math or like quack come up with like really good like subathon like ideas and layouts and like uh, how things happen yeah yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm. I mean, yeah, I'm not doing these as decals. Decals are my nail art arch nemesis. Yeah, but Polish Mountain is going to be almost a twenty-four hour stream out, and I don't know if I have it in me. I have been seriously considering that now or soon because it's once again coming up on the anniversary of Polish Mountain. But Polish Mountain is going to uh, yeah the dot here in fluid art did not work or at least not with these combination that's what that test was they just sunk into the red these do look pretty cool now that they're dried if this is one and this is two which do you guys like best maybe I should have labeled them the opposite I mean, I don't know that it's super, super going to matter because, I mean, once we're putting it on the nail, it's going to be different somehow.
yeah yeah it is a hard choice um man this is getting kind of long too where's my uh yeah i don't know too if i should do a whole manicure or if i should chicken out and go with accent nails i'm just gonna also there was a little peely part and i peeled it don't yell at me also don't do that at home I have not been very good with my biotin lately, honestly. I hope I don't have a problem in a few weeks to months, whenever it grows out. Peeling is mainly, like one of the main reasons why I take biotin, because I used to have a lot of trouble with peeling on like all of my nails. How do you not peel the peely parts? It's not easy. Oh, hey, Pascal. Like, you either gotta gel over them or, like, paint over them just, like, immediately. Probably gel to actually, like, protect them. I'm just really bad about... Pick, pick, pick. This is okay. I had to file this one down again. I like busted a corner. You routinely fail at not peeling the peely bits. Yeah, it's it's really hard to resist. In everyone's defense, especially mine. But it's not good. You are just literally weakening the nail. The patch on the thumb is not looking super great. It's okay. The patch on the pinky is is looking super great actually it's like the best shape of any of them <laughs> i mean i guess i don't know i could also call them lifting bits but then that just sounds like you're supposed to lift them off i don't know so what's the solution to have healthier nails I guess but yeah you can see I at the very tip I peeled some honestly I partly peeled it because I thought I was going to file it down past that part and it wasn't going to matter but I didn't yeah plants I can <laughs> I can relate to that that's why we have the the patch on the end of this nail kind of hard to see but like right there you can see where it bent betrayed by the bits okay full manicure or accent nail Mermaid fluid art. Ocean bubbles. Curdled ocean. <laughs> Curdled mermaid. Ah, mermaid farts. Mermaid. Mermaid foam. Mermanny? Ah, that's not as good as I thought it was gonna sound. 
Melted fish! Oh! Oh! Mermaid exhaust. May mermaid mishap. No, if it turns out right, it won't be a mishap, I hope. Serpent scales. Mermaid celebration plants. Oh. Oil. Okay, but it doesn't look like an oil spill, does it? Like it doesn't have enough of the other, like, you know, like pinky and gold type of colors. Even the purple is very subtle. Both of these have purple. Both of them. <laughs> Mermaid Row. Cat camera. Mermaid. <laughs> Mermaid, you look. Mermaid, you fart. Manicured's name is where'd those bubbles come from? <laughs> I was trying to see though, and, it, and you can actually tell the difference between the purple and the blue. Like the, the purple is actually coming through as a dark blue, but it is coming through like distinctly. It's actually a little bit more, more shimmer than either of those. Maybe it should be in the middle. Did we try that? What were these orders? Uh-oh. This, this, this one was purple, blue, teal. The other one was blue purple teal shim mermaid celebration <sighs> shim mermaid sounds like shenane Shanene the Shimmermaid. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Those are so weird. The way these just sunk in there. Literally enveloped. Maybe if the red was not quite as deep or wet. That would have worked out. All right, we do we do have to figure out a name. I need to take a break. I mean, okay, I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure this was pur purple, blue, teal, and this was blue, purple, teal. Or maybe, or maybe blue, teal, purple. Actually, I think it was blue, teal, purple. That makes more sense. Because I wanted to put the teal in between. Yeah, 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 actually. Oh, this eraser is shit. Oh, no. Oh, I'm using a shitty eraser. Ugh. Oh, it's fucking. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. 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 That darn deep wet red. Mm. 
so we we want the pbt not the btb B, 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 we want the pbt not the btp question mark i mean i saw it gidge but i'm not gonna watch a clip of myself in the middle of stream Son. Oh. Good job, son. I mean, even if Sun shipped it directly, I feel like those flat rate boxes from the Postal Service will ship to Canada. Which would be like a $5 flat rate shipping, if nothing else, as a last resort. It has liquid, does that matter? I've shipped nail... One time I had a contest and I had to ship out two things of nail polish. And I'm trying to remember if one of them went to Canada or not. I don't really remember. Yeah, well, yeah, they gotta go like Ormd or whatever. A lot of times if you order something and it comes from like Singapore, it's not marked appropriately. It's marked as like, I forget, it's been a while. Yeah. Plenty of time to figure it out. And the order is placed. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to go to the bathroom, do a quick little sugar scrub. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Do I need to have another butterscotch for a little bit of sugar pick-me-up? I mean, in theory, this shouldn't take that long. In actuality, Jaken, we're going to put this on my nails. Come on, camera. Yeah. That's the plan. How dare you? Wait, how dare I what? Oh, hi, Elpac. I got, yeah, the, oh, my nails say they are ready. Well, they'll be ready after a sugar scrub. Peppa Bean, I'm getting their plans. Hi there. Yeah, Beanie would definitely ditch when I get up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Ow. It was supposed to rain today and it didn't. Does that mean it's supposed to rain tomorrow now instead? Is that why I'm still sore? We still have fucking river flood warning. A few showers during the morning with thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. 
Ew. Thunderstorms in the evening give way to mostly cloudy skies overnight. Okay. Stray shower thunderstorm possible tonight also. Yeah, it was supposed to like heavily rain. Uh, I want to say around six and it kind of never did. It sprinkled. Yeah, the very mellow tones of deep relaxation from Kevin McLeod. Stuck in Alta. <laughs> Sometimes I miss going to like Alta and Sally's all the time. I can't blame it on my sleepiness, Gidge. I can't hear it. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna go so I can come back. Um, if you need your own break, now is the time. Where's the BRB text? Burb. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I also kind of don't like a lot of times the perfume's at the front of the store so you gotta like walk through it to get to everything else um but it's been a long time since I've been in one I've I've you know you, you break the cycle and then you don't get your 10% coupon and then you never go back again until you need something and then they try to suck you back in Okay, we're going to play the reel. I'm going to take the break. <gasps> oh, excuse me. And then when I get back, no. We're going to put that on my nails. And I'm not confident about it. Maybe we start... No, because then if we... No, because what about base color? What base color do I want to use? What base color do we want here? Blue? <sighs> PBE? No, it's PBT. Purple, blue, teal. Oh, polish and be not on my, that wasn't that. Okay, never, that question wasn't for me. Okay then. Uh, BRB. Sometimes I hate taking breaks cause I gotta get up and I'm stiff and it's uncomfortable, but you know what? Taking breaks are good for you, everyone. So you should take one too. But if for whatever reason you're not going to take a break, like maybe you already took one or maybe I can't tell you what to do, then you can sit here and you can watch. Would you guys like me to start a cult? Hey Google, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? About 24 miles per hour, 39 kmph, but significantly slower when carrying coconut shells. What? Hades and cookie day. Let's go. <laughs> Hades cookies in your mouth. Ah! I am not your kitchen mommy. Not for free at least. <laughs> Give me a snack. Give me a snack. Break me off a piece of that snack snack bar. No, 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 no. Dude, okay. I have a drawer of cheese. If my drawer of cheese begins to get empty, I feel slightly anxious. What if I run out of cheese? Hey Google. What's a fuck boy? Is used as a noun in US English as a derogatory term in a vulgar slang to mean a weak or contemptible man. Do you want to hear how f is spelled? <laughs> yes. Are them titties? Is that a plant or a person? Tree titties or person titties? I want to beat the pee pee. Mm -hmm. I have to confess it could be a little bigger for my vibration. 
Sure. Who needs gravy when you've got pussy sauce? You got it on with the robot, didn't you, bitch? Yeah, it's like a oof. It's like a yikes. It's like, a, come on, man. Imagine the water marble titties. I could water marble. Before we start prepping our ice cream bucket, we'll be painting these titties with liquid latex, and sadly, we won't be using sesh feet today. It spelled. <laughs> Whoa, these poop physics. Oh, uh, let me clean you up, dirty girl. I'm sorry, what? That's flesh. That's chicken drumstick flesh. Am I secretly a fuckboy? Mr. Mother? Fucker! Mr. Motherfucker! <laughs> Why? Why was this beeped out? All you need to try and duplicate this scenario is modding API additional items, bench rando, bench or bingo UI, menu escape bug, no, modding API additional, additional items, bench, bench rando, bench or bingo UI, modding API additional items, bench rando, bench or bingo UI. Anybody I may have missed while I was talking about water marbling titties, hello, welcome on in. My name is Colette. Colette. <laughs> what? Jesus <laughs> God. Okay, look. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. I just had an idea that might be a horrible idea. Would you like to hear it? Absolutely free money with no consequences. I feel like this would be exceptionally dumb of me, right? Oops. You know, sometimes my intellect can be staggering. I have this on. This is a. Ow! What? I object! Ow! Ow! <gasps> I'm such a gamer! You're not getting out to threaten me again, bug motherfucker. Too bad, boy. Fuck. And I cannot emphasize this enough. You big old can continue this bitch now. with your corn dog ass looking pen. Okay. Well, well, major major Magic Wire. What the fuck is that saying? Oh, Major Area Tracker. Major Area Tracker. Random Channel 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. So the plan almost was good. Maybe also I should pause. J this is fine. <clears throat> Everything is fine and good and fine. <laughs> I am playing it very well. I am. Strum, 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 non copyright liar. I do know the chicken dance. Oh, wait, is it the one that goes. Dude, why are you fucking around with that bird anyway? Whoa. That was, that was actually delightful. Had a rock shoved deep in his ass. The hardest gradient ever? Question mark, question mark, exclamation mark. You won't believe your eyes when you see how many polishes this uses. E. Randall Plus, Randall Stats, Recent Items, Reopen City Door, Satchel, SF Course, Skill Upgrades, Trandall Plus, and Transcendence. And maybe you can also have this glitch. It's very fine and perfectly good, even though there's apparently two menus on my screen right now at this very moment. I didn't drink at all during the run. That was after. So I'm two hours more tired and a cup of wine more wine. <laughs> How did a Pokemon learn to build rocket launchers? Are there Pokemons with guns? Just in time to fuck me up. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. So when they do unto me, that's how they would like to be done unto. I don't understand that, but I definitely do understand that. Oh. Jesus. Baby, are you okay? What was that? You sneezing? Jesus! Barbara Streisand, do 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 do. Barbara Streisand, do 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 do. Barbara Streisand, do 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 do. Barbara Streisand. I hope everybody sleeps well. I hope I sleep well. Well, sleeping wishes wishes what wash. It's it's just one of those days where you're like, oh, it's fine, and then you go about your life out into the world, and you realize, oh fuck, my brain is made out of pudding. Thanks for your patience, everyone. Um, let's turn that off and turn that on. Adjust my butt pillow. 
feel like that's still not quite even. I need to get one that fits this chair and my ass better. Oh. Um. Let's move things we're not using. I'm nervous. What do you guys think about base color? Blue? Okay, Gidge. Wait, why would you like a cozy bath? Are you telling me that Gidge doesn't take ice baths? of butterscotch. Gidge doesn't like anything warm. <laughs> That's a good one. Wait, what color is it though? Also, I'm trying not to suck candy too loud toward the microphone. might be blue I mean that would actually suit because of all the lakes I kind of vaguely remember when it was here but I didn't go what the heck is stuck on my nail It's wedged its way under the little peely part. It's now in between the layers of my nail. Whatever the fuck it is. Fuck, that irritates me. The only way to get it though is to like peel the nail. A little bit of old polish or something that I picked up off one of my tools that I'd never fucking clean like I properly should clean them so they've all got nail polish over them <laughs> literally we got green here we got a bunch of shit here <laughs> who 
who knows what I managed to get in there. Mm. Embezzled. I should get out a nice lid for the tutorial. Maybe like a clear one or a white one. Maybe one of these slightly bigger ones. Make sure it's clean. Set. I don't know how it gets dusty inside of a closed drawer. Floating cat floof, there's a way. That's very true. <sighs> oh, there we go. <sighs> Welcome back, Ed. What does that mean? You didn't hear the the part where I was giving you shit. I just said I was I, I was surprised at the cozy bath because I would have thought that you would take your baths very cold. <laughs> because you hate all things warmth. Okay, we're not using this dotting tool. Get the dotting tool out of here. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm starting with Hollow Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. Golden. Considering your general hatred of all warmth, I'm shocked. I think I'm getting a little bit better at leaving a consistent border around the nail. I still think I could use some work in some cases, but I think I'm getting better. <laughs> Unsettling, wait, why? <laughs> That reminds me of the one comment I got on my highlight video. They had found me from when I commentated uh, Emery's Run and Frost Fatales. And they thought they had found a nice family friendly. <laughs> 
Hollow Knight player. And then apparently they like looked me up on YouTube and found BRB Real One, which in you know a testament to my my lack of having shit together is the only thing on my actual Coletta MSLP channel. And they left a comment, you know, about, you know, how they thought, you know, they could watch me with their kids. <laughs> Shit, no. I was like, uh, sorry. <laughs> it was funny, but I felt like just a little bit bad. And just a little bit like, oh. But like, honestly, I don't know. It's not even that I constantly curse. I mean, I, I usually curse a lot, but I also can go like quite long periods of time without cursing and don't bring up the redemption. Okay, that's different. But also like, I don't, it would be so much harder to stream for long periods if I was like trying not to curse for like hours at a time on a regular basis. <laughs> I think I told them that if they wanted family friendly content I had a whole channel full of edited nail art tutorials with no profanity which now I've never I've never actually watched back and listened to myself any of the times I've done commentary. Um, but I put myself in kind of a similar, like it's a YouTube headspace. Like, cause you know, they're generally like, you know, events where you don't want to be just like dropping the F-bomb all the time. Points, hmm, points, imagine. Imagine channel points goals mm. sun spends them in chunks on p5 i had the thought that maybe when i have p5 redemptions now i should let people pick a charm build for me that might be fun i don't know it's been a while since i like took and took time and like had a p5 or like a god home stream to clear out the clear out the redemptions there's like quite a few in there there's like several from sun i think there's at least one from math actually wait, maybe i did the math one because math did it like sarcastically the last time i was actually in there of my own volition practicing when i was thinking about de-rusting 112 haha <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this. The, mm. Another P five to add to the pile. Thank you, son, for the P five redemption. I should. I think I will. I'm gonna change it. There's a hair stuck in here there we go maybe so people have to add i have to put in a charm build starving absolutely starving why if it wasn't for all you kind the, the kindness of strangers <laughs> He'd be nothing but skin and bones and fur. It's true. It's not true. <sighs> I do, I definitely do want to get back to Hollow Knight. 
I've missed Hollow Knight a lot. I just haven't felt like... I mean, we've been starting streams pretty late this whole week. Uh, felt like Hades was a better fit for shorter streams. Like, there's so many things. Like I said, there's Hollow Nest vocalized. Kerr continues to pump out updates on the enemy rando. I think there might even be a couple connections that, like, I haven't tried. The cat in the chair emote, that is great. Beanie likes my chair. He doesn't usually get in it while I'm streaming. Maybe he doesn't like the the ergonomic butt pillow. Also, I'm a little bit surprised he came back. The cat came back very next day he's so peaceful I fed him when I got up okay you guys think blue for base color <gasps> excuse me some of these hiccups are rough like just uncomfy Close call, lost treasure, opposites tracked. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, unanimous blue, okay. Be fine. What are, what are we even worried about? Not even to the scary part yet. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Wait, no, I just thought what Jake had said again. It was... <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are from Orly. This teal is close call. The blue, which I'll also be using as my base color, is Lost Treasure. And the purple is Opposites Attract. <laughs> Wonder if I'll be okay with prob like probably one coat of this will be fine. I think it would be interesting to uh, use a polish like this and do a nail art where the design is in the brush strokes. Like you can see where I wrap the tip. Because it's like across the grain of the other stroke. If I were wearing this um, like on its own or whatever, what I would do is wrap the tips first so that you don't see that tip swipe. But it doesn't matter for this. Like it's, e it's easier for me to do it at the end. And since it doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> Do 
just the tip. You can tell I went a little bit too heavy on the pinky because we're almost getting a little bit of fluid vibes right, right there. You see it? But overall, like this has a like a pretty smoothish metallic finish. But just like I, I've always been, just been curious. I mean, maybe it wouldn't even be best to use an orange stick. Maybe using something like a like a very small brush would be better. Like I've I've used for things before. But just to like you know, instead of trying to make it as smooth as possible, just like use that brush strokiness and make a design in it. Make it swirly whirly. Swirly whirly. That's a lot of polish. Trying to have a pretty neat base here, even though, I mean, probably as thick as this is going to be going on, we're definitely going to be having our cleanup cut out for us. Like, hopefully, if I'm good, like the surface tension will work in my favor. We'll have to see. Yeah, this is from, I think this is from the great, the great escape. I think both of these are from the great escape. And then this one was from like the Valentine's collection that I don't remember the name of. It's not sweet release. That was the pastels that actually turned out to not be pastels. Good job, Gage. Ow, fuck. I can't believe, well, I mean, I can believe. Like, this ankle is still so problematic if I just, like... Yes, LTAC, that is what it was. Hopeless Romantic. Iris, I am filled with anxiety because we are about to do a technique that I'm not fully comfortable with. But other than that, I'm fine. Tired, but fine. So I think, I think what we want to do is try to do, I should just lock this focus for you guys so we don't have it popping in and out of focus. I want to try to, you know, I didn't run any ads when I got up. Did I? Oh, well, sorry. Sorry if you got pre-rolls. Um, I want to do like two piles of polish per hand. Like two and a half-ish nails. Uh, maple brain oat. Yeah, I'm, I'm just regular tired. I don't feel too poorly. Like, I don't feel tippity-toppity. I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm having, like, somewhat extreme spring allergies or if there's something else going on. Because I keep... It, like, I'm not, I'm not sure. Is this TMI? I don't know. Like, I don't know. 
I'm not sure if my face is having an allergic reaction or if I'm having burst blood vessels from hiccuping so much. But I keep, like, having my face be really pink. And sometimes it's, like, a little bit itchy and sometimes it just feels, like, a little bit warm. I don't know. Like, I've never had that as, like, a symptom of, like, allergies or whatever. But, like, I already had, like, that sinus thing a couple weeks ago, too, and that was weird. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, like, I mean, we're, we're, we're full into spring now. Like, actual, like, nice weather spring. So, things definitely are, like, popping out. Yeah, plants, yeah. That might be part of it then. But yeah, it's been, I don't know, it's not too bad right now. Yesterday I was very, very pink. <sighs> Purple, blue, teal. Purple, blue, teal. How do we want to explain this? I mean, is it a scoop marble? Is it a fluid art? Is it both? Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope they don't stay for too long, kitten. Fluid scoop marble? Yeah. Like you, okay, so well, you guys probably know this. I've probably talked about this several times before. I'm doing it again, what I talked about earlier when I realized that I am a person that repeats themselves. But like, I pretty much have a, like a, a general idea of already what I'm gonna say for like regular nail art. Water marbles or a gradient or whatever. Like it's the, sa it's the same shit going on in various combinations and transmutations or whatever. But like this, I mean, yes, it's a basically a scoop marble, but also like it's not though. Oh no, Joe. Slucid marble. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, for, like, I mean, you don't, I, I don't know. I've, I've never actually done fluid art, because there's multiple ways to do it. Like, they have the actual, like, polish that's made for it, and then there's, like, you can DIY your own and, like, mix it and add, like, you know, like, silicone or whatever. Or sometimes there's just polishes that do it that aren't designated as, like, fluid polishes, and, like, I don't know. Maybe... Okay, I have a plan, question mark, period. <clears throat> I have a lid that I'm going to be placing the polishes out on. And the technique is basically going to be like a scoop marble, but the result is going to have kind of a fluid artifact. So I'm gonna lay out the purple, the blue, and the teal. Then I'm going to pull through them a couple times with an orange stick and start scooping it onto my nail.
Okay, this is this is fine so far. Oh no, that one is really blobbing. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I kind of want to add a little bit more purple here. I don't know if I want to continue using that. If I just want to like finish off the edges of these. We're not getting the same kind of cells, I think because I'm going slightly too heavy and also because my nails are round. Like we've got some interesting cells there. I'm gonna move on. That was very loud. I'm sorry. I don't know how I feel about those. I don't know if this is enough for three nails either. I don't know anything, I'm full of doubt. Okay, I think, come on here, bottle. I don't know you guys. I don't know how I feel about this. Also, this is going to be the purplest one yet, question mark. Or not. It just still looks blue. My feelings are deep and conflicted.
Should I go in the first pool? Do you think it's still wet enough? Oh my god. What is that? Get out of there. No. No. I'd, I, uh. Also, like, I don't, like, I was trying so hard to, like, save that that, like, I don't know how the recording of that went. It's not horrible. I don't know. <laughs> It's, I mean, yes, but also no. Because, like, okay, so the thing is, the purple never looks purple. The purple... The purple never looks purple. The purple just looks dark blue. That's the purple... Well, I can't point to it right now. But, like... Even the one that we had a whole lot of purple on the nail, it just like turns dark blue. Maybe I should have used purple as the base color. I don't know if that would have helped. And even the one where we had, so the one on the end, you guys, is the one where purple was at the end because it was blue teal purple. I don't know, I wish it doesn't, it's not horrible. But we're definitely not getting as many cells as we did in the testing. And I think it's because it's drifting on my nail. Right? And now I wish I'd given slightly a different description because it doesn't really look very fluid already at all. What does it look like? It doesn't look like a scoop marble either. It's just like abstract. Like on the nail, the shimmer in the purple is what you see. So it looks blue. But like that darker part at the tip of the ring finger there, like that's purple. And like the side of this nail and actually like a lot of this. I, I, I'm i not mad at this, but I don't like the way that I described it because I don't feel like this looks very fluid arty. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not setting and like, which I mean, I guess is not surprising. And I thought might partly be a problem because I mean, my nails are curved and the paper's flat, but I thought we would still get some cell development once it stopped moving and kind of were not. Also, that's like a thick chunk of purple right there. So what would be a better way to describe this? It's just like an abstract, like abstract. Maybe, maybe I don't call it anything else. Maybe I say that you get just a slightly different looking scoop marble with this particular finish. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but it it definitely like it doesn't look like fluid art as much on the nail. Like there's still some cells in there, but that's not like the main feature. I mean, comparatively to like these, I mean, maybe we do want to do something like this as a decal. Ugh. I hate doing decals. Okay, I almost fucked up. I don't think I did. Okay. I'll record another thing and I'll just, I'll swap the audio. 
I mean, I'll still use the first, like, well, this, this hand, well, if it's visible, if it's legible. <sighs> yeah, some things like that, though, like, I feel like it would be very hard to get it to, to properly set those cells on my nail. I mean, maybe it's just a matter of getting that perfect amount of polish where it's thick enough to form cells, but it's not so thick that it drifts on my nail. I don't have that kind of precision. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just pretend that we're working fresh, except it's not gonna be working fresh. I like the way it looks, to be clear, but it doesn't look like our testing looked, which is, you know, you know, you know what I mean. <clears throat> okay. Pretend we're starting fresh, but we're not, but we're pretending. <clears throat> I've got a lid that I'll be using to put out the polish, and I'm going to be using a scoop marble technique once again, although the pattern that results is a little bit different when you're using shimmers compared to when you're using creams. sound like shit dumb I don't know it'll be fine it'll be fine I feel like this is a very odd amount of polish at this point but we'll see. Should we just scoop from this side and see how this hand turns out? Maybe we will get more purple. That's kind of a lot. Mm. Mm. Ah! Whoa. I like flung when I should have flung. It's getting like a, a stripey vibe too, which I kind of like, like I kind of dig it. Not much more purple though. This is like drifting. Thank you. 
Gaga. I don't like this. Um, uh, remember, remember. in there. Okay. Mm. Polo right thumb. Come through. hear like drag racing so I guess you know it really is summer Raid? Have I missed anything else? I can't even see my alerts window. Hi. Oh, the, the focus is still off. So, the right hand was scooped completely opposite. Last time I did a scoop marble, I actually moved the lid so that I was still scooping in the same direction but as a test with these I didn't and I don't think you really can tell um hi hi raiders my name is Colette I hope you had fun with dwarf who I know what it was, but I don't remember what it was. You know what I mean? Um, and we were trying to do something that didn't quite worked out, but it's okay because it still looks cool. But I still have like mixed feelings about it because it doesn't look as cool as we thought it was going to look right. We got like a couple. Okay. I'm being very careful. Like we got we got some kind of good we got a little couple cells popping out there. Um we we got like a couple popping out there. But I mean it's cool. Oh look at that. It's like a little oceany wave. But Like we, this is what, what our expectations were set to, right? And by our, I mean mine, but possibly you guys is too. Um, I was sun headed to bed. I probably missed several things. I was concentrating really hard to manage to get everything covered. Actually, I see now that there's like a uncovered corner on this thumb but honestly like from here you can't tell right but that's definitely like uncovered I am i don't think I want to fuck with it 
Yeah. I, I, I'm I not convinced I would have to, but it would be very tricky to do on the nail. You would need to have like a very, very precise application. Um... He's snoring. Okay. Clean up brush. <sighs> maybe one day we'll explore decals. Like maybe we'll do like. Fucking I don't know. Let's get this cleanup happening. <clears throat> once i've done all my nails i'm going to move into some cleanup as usual i'm using a small brush dipped in acetone we should have a really pretty napkin today A simple little pleasure. I think these will be interesting under flashlight time too, where you can see the purple more. Um, we did do flashlight time on the testing. Man, this nail barely got any of the teal. It's okay, they can't all be the same clet. But I want them to be a level of consistent. I feel like out of that whole hand, that nail just stands out to me a bit as having not enough teal on it. Honestly, also, as messy as some of that was, I feel like the last one we did was messier. I feel like we, like, cleanup took longer. Am I imagining that? Chaos is okay. Embrace it. Have you met me? I mean, really, the only reason this is not fine is because this is not what I was trying to do. I mean, I can be, I can be okay with that. I don't know if I can embrace it. I love, I love cleanup. Like the little before and after is just so fucking satisfying. Maybe what we should do is buy Mathulu a nail art sketchbook and then we kindly bully him into doing nail art testing streams 
until he finally cannot resist but to put the nail art upon his nails. I wonder if he went and got the maniology kit after we encouraged him the other day. Or the other night, or the other stream, I don't know, whatever, what the time the fuck it was. <clears throat> We're here to kill chaos. No, no, chaos is, chaos is my homie? Question mark. <laughs> I think math thinks nail art is scary and sometimes it is, but it's only scary inside your own mind. And of course, if you're making a tutorial, cause then you get to overthink everything. You get to overthink it twice as much as it matters. That was a mistake. I cleaned up too much on that corner. I think I can like camouflage it slash fix it. But that was, that was just me being sloppy. Nail art is not scary. What is scary about it, Gidge? It's nail polish. Worst comes to worst, you take it off. got a really interesting kind of a uh, almost like petaled separation in some of these which we also got in the uh, the green the teal and green yellowish color one that we did okay Gidge that's not I mean not to belittle your fears, but that's not a valid reason to be scared. There's no penalty for not succeeding at nail art. Who even decides what the fuck success is? Hmm. Neptune storm clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Like it definitely has like sort of planetary ish vibes. Giants deep scoop marble. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. If you know what that is, don't say anything. Well, time for 10 bucks to prove he's not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah how answer that question how am i to do nail art when everything's a spoiler <laughs> i didn't see it then though i thought you meant like space Which I suppose also could be. Some kinds of space look this cool. I 
What the heck is that? I hear music drifting through my window now. It looked like the cool thing. Ah! <laughs> Ten bucks, no! box it's great to see you there's definitely no spoilers on my nails <laughs> except that maybe there are though <sighs> oh the cool thingy the cool okay so maybe i said that they were something something nails and then i said wait but that's a spoiler Nur. Oh, I gotta work on my nerve. <laughs> and then I and then I said that ten bucks would show up and yell at me. <laughs> and I said, how how am I supposed to do nail art if the nail art is spoilers? <laughs> I, I, I've decided that this fuck up needs a little bit of polish surgery. Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with this brush? Why is all the thingy so... Okay. We're gonna do just like... Like literally just enough to get the brush wet. And we're just gonna... Like, get some down in this corner. It literally doesn't have to be neat. It just needs to come up, cover up some of that bare area. And then I'm gonna go back with the cleanup brush and do like a clean, careful sweep that I should have done in the first place. <laughs> Out in the real world. Okay, you can see my manicure, but first, answer this question. <laughs> Have you played or do you intend to play? <laughs> okay, okay. We're just gonna we're gonna clean up our cuticle lines here carefully so we don't fuck it up again. Sometimes the chubby sidewalls re re get dirty. <laughs> Wait, what is it? I really should stop joking before I accidentally do a joke that's a real spoiler. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. oh you like my manicure oh you can have a closer look but first please sign this waiver <laughs> excuse me okay I, th I think I'm almost ready here Mm-mm. 
Okay, I think we're done with cleanup. Oh wait, put a little right thumb. Needs just a little bit more attention. I know that even jokes could be spoilers. No, one time I did say a spoiler and then I like was like in shock and then I was like, don't act so shocked, play it off so nobody knows, except I was so shocked that I couldn't play it off. So really I ought not, I ought not joke. Lot, a lot of teal there. It's kind of funny because it's right next to the nail with almost no teal. It's got like that little bit of teal in the center. And now you can see these are like a little lumpety. A little, you know, there's a little bit of like bubbles or unevenness, discrepancy. It's okay. Sesh feet about to come through. Thanks, 10 bucks. Yeah, so I was saying earlier, the, the purple has this blue shimmer. And the blue shimmer is heavily what's coming through in the manicure. We'll do flashlight time once I'm done with top coat so you guys can have a better look at it. I mean, even too, like on the lid, the blue and the purple are kind of somewhat in, 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 blah, 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 indistinguishable here. A little there. Even what's left over here has more cells than what appeared on my nails. <clears throat> yeah i'm still i mean i still have some per I, I still have some certain feelings but it it like it's okay mostly mostly <clears throat> finally i'm going to finish everything off with the top coat and as usual i'm using sesh feet my nice full bottle of sesh feet. I just topped it off the other day. Like, I did not do it immediately after stream last time, like I was supposed to. And I am doing a nice glom here. Because we really want sesh feet to self level. And we've got the. We've got the uh, Peely Base to seal it. I think I actually scratched the middle nail with that somehow, but it's okay because sesh feet is about to just seal everything nicely. nicely smooth Yeah, these are really pretty. This one really dark area on the side of the thumb is also kind of cool. But that'll really pop when we do flashlight time. Oh. <sighs> Mm. 
Yeah, most top coats like they're designed to be, well, not always quick dry, but usually, hopefully, and glossy. And hopefully also self-leveling. And leveling whatever's underneath of them too. Ow. Excuse me. I really like this ring finger too. It would be cool to do one of these more stripey designs with like earth tones. Ooh, I wonder how the barista collection would handle scoop marbling. Have we discussed this before? That was a bit much top coat. I, I want it to be sealed in. I don't want it to be flooded. How smooth it is now. There's a little cell peeking out. Mm -hmm. What? What happened to you? Did I nudge you? I don't know how I managed to nudge this finger. We'll do flashlight time in just a minute. I'm glad I noticed that before it was fully dry. I was able to like smooth it out. Okay. So it's two AM. We need to hold on. lock the focus, zoom in a little bit more. So like that dark spot is purple, that there, okay. See those extra sparkly parts that look blue? That's the purple. The blue doesn't have that, that actual shimmer in it. 
So the purple is just anywhere where there's like a more intent, like right there, that's the purple. But it's not reading, per or the tip right there, it's not reading purple at all in the manicure. But like it's, it's there. It's just doing non-purple things. See, like, right there, it's, like, blue, and then in the middle of the blue, there's, like, a blaze of blue shimmer. That's the purple. Look at that pinky. Look, right there at the cuticle, there's a glom of purple. Like, generally, it's, like, a little bit more spread out and shimmer. Look at that corner. It's purple. Yeah, it does, but, I mean... I don't know it does but it's still purple and here it's like I mean it's basically not purple anymore it's still really cool I mean this is a cool ass cool ass effect and I like the fact that it pops out almost um like almost like a different finish because I like mixing finishes but sometimes with like scoop marbles in particular different finishes like blend together weird this is awkwardly close isn't it a cool ass effect <sighs> oh thanks everyone Allie thank you do you guys have a favorite nail I think both of the ring fingers turned out really good I think those two might be my favorite and they have a very like earth strata kind of a vibe This almost looked like I had bonged it right there, but that's like under the top coat. It's not a wrinkle. It's smooth. Isn't that interesting? You guys can see exactly where I'm talking about, right? That like teal ridge, but it's smooth. I actually thought I had banged it. Good night, Pascal. They're all your favorite nails. Uh, this is regular po polish, Allie. This is, uh, these three Orleys. Yeah, it's really kind of interesting. I wonder if it's the nature of this polish in a scoop marble, or if it's the nature of this polish in a scoop marble with these polishes. You know what I mean? Like, does it just lean blue because it's with a blue and it's with the teal? Like, if we put it with some other things, could we actually bring out more of the purple? I mean, it's always going to have, like, that very heavy blue undertone shimmer. Um, but I wonder. This also reminds me, except, you know what, it's not multi-chrome. You know what, it's not that similar. But it does remind me, you guys remember that drip marble that I did with the Color Club multi-chromes around the time that we were having webcam issues? <sighs> oh yeah, T a name. I, I don't even know. I mean, before when we were going with the, you know, the fluid art theme, when we thought that we were going to get something more like this, I thought I had a name, except not really. But now, like, we're not even going in that direction. Ocean scoop marble. Shades of blue scoop marble. Because, I mean, the teal is not as prominent either. I mean, if you look at this manicure... You would probably say that's a blue manicure, right? Ocean vibes scoop marble. <laughs> vibes. Ocean opal scoop marble. 
Yeah. I mean, I usually think of opals with like a little bit, you know what, you know what would make these look like opals? Do I want to do that? I don't think I do. Ooh, do I? Ooh, do I? Ooh. I mean, I already top coated though. If I did that and then another top coat, these would be thick and they're already really thick. Like solar unicorn skin. Yeah, Izzy. What if, okay, 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 blah, 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 blah. Gradient. Flakies. Bam. Like, uh, do I have, hold on. Mm. When's the last time I used flakies? Maybe they're in the overflow box. I'll have to lay hands on flakies. This, okay, I like that. An unreleased shimmer. Do we think we're getting the next trio of shimmers? We could even do like a little bit of stamping or a little bit of like freehanding to make it like ornate. Like when we did the opal for 12 days of Christmas a couple years ago. That's TBD, I guess. I, of course, I don't. Well, is it? You guys will say yes. I'm not even gonna ask you guys. Yes, I am. Is a gradient worthy of a tutorial? Is a gradient topped with a flaky worthy of a tutorial? I mean, I guess so. Yes? Question mark. I mean, maybe I should stop thinking of them all as being tutorials and just thinking of them as being edited, edited nail art videos. Would that work in my brain? Would that make my brain like stop having so much of a fucking <laughs> moment? You know what I mean? Like, like, like less, maybe not zero explanation, but like less explanation and just, it's just a. <sighs> what do you mean, Gidge? I mean, do you mean reverse stamping like filled in stamping or reverse stamping like, like, uh, the other way? I mean, I could, I mean, I don't think I would. No, I mean, I feel like if I was going to do the flaky too, like that might be too busy unless I use the flaky to fill in the reverse stamping, in which case that's like kind of finicky because you'd probably have to do like multiple layers to actually get it like in there well. We talked about that, didn't we? Reciprocal gradient stamping. I talked about wanting to have a plate of stripes, didn't I? Zia, good night. Thank you for hanging out. I'm I'm gonna call it here pretty pretty quickly too. I also I feel like I should have my hands up there, but like I'm stretching my back. I was trying to be like not horrible posture, but I know I was at least a little bit horrible posture. Yeah, I think solar or maybe lunar or maybe like you know you know what else what might kind of be cool you guys know those like gradients that people do that like they're not 
just a gradient they're like they're like dabbed all over the sponge and kind of like like uh i almost want to say like a bokeh but not really because it's like just like do you know what i mean I'll have to think about this a little bit more. I, cause like a part of me really likes the idea of like going for it over this, but then a part of me is like, well, but then like it will detract from like this. And the other part of me is like, man, bitch, it's two in the morning. You're done. Um, like you, you do it and it's like, like dots of color instead of just like color, 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 color. You know, it's like, just color all over and then so like on the nail it's like a like a dappled kind of effect and then we and then and then like maybe that would be something a little of course of course again i'm getting back to something more interesting something more worthy of a tutorial is that actually better than a linear gradient in this instance maybe Maybe it's just more complicated for no reason. Hmm. <laughs> you could you could ask me in Discord ten with spoiler tags if you want. Or you could just tell everybody else not to look at your chat. And then I'll tell everybody else not to listen to me when I answer. Um they didn't start out intending to be anything specific. I will say that. I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll continue. Oh, you know, I'm still like, I don't even have my alerts. Like, oh, I missed a follow. Peter Griffin, if you are still lurking, thank you very much. I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. I mean, you, you probably saw that my alerts were muted and you were understanding. I appreciate that, but i'm as a pro streamer supposed to be aware of my alerts when i cannot hear them <sighs> also we got through this stream without any weird twitch crashes even though i didn't remember to change my server okay i'll look when i'm when i'm uh when i'm off stream and i will answer you also a spoiler okay let me look i can't see you for a minute chat i'm looking to see where i'm gonna send you cbc is playing tunic i can't go there mm. Mm. I don't remember who you are. Wow, there's so many people in my follows that I don't know who the fuck. Like, why are there this many people on? I don't know why you people are on. And half you people, I don't even know who you are. Not half, but like, are you somebody that has changed your name? Are you somebody I followed at one point was like, hey, you're cool, and then like, You never played anything I wanted to watch again? I don't understand. Um, we could go see... Karoshi? Question mark? We could go see Nate. I don't know this game Nate is playing, though. What's the one? This is the one Potato said Nate was being a bully. Um... Yeah, that might be the thing. What do, you, what do you got, you guys? You guys probably don't have strong feelings. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to bed. I'm sorry for doing nail art so late lately. It just has been working out to do it on Friday after I get home. And then that's unfortunately like on to the later end of things. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to send you guys to Kuro. If you guys like Risk of Rain 2, go check out Nate. 
but I will send you I will send you guys over to here you're welcome 10 bucks I hope you get some good sleep soon or later or already had some maybe I don't know I'm not in charge of you um this is where we're going also I have a discord um thank you Torny. thank you Izzy or you're welcome I guess and I mean I don't know do <laughs> do I have a habit of just saying more thank yous when somebody says thank me instead of saying you're welcome because I don't feel like I did anything except come on here and be confused for a couple hours <laughs> Um, oh, actually start, start the real raid clip. Pro streamer. Pro streamer. All right, let me, let me test this out. <clears throat> You're welcome, Altac. No, that feels really weird. Maybe it's the way I did it. Probably, but like, okay. <laughs> uh, here's the raid message. If you would like to a simple little raid with your favorite simple little emote. Um, yeah, these are nice. I'll enjoy these as soon as I forget what they were supposed to look like. Um, and as soon as I like think of what they're called so I can record an intro and outro. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to be aiming early tomorrow. I, you know, two o'clock, maybe a pipe dream. Four o'clock, I think, maybe is a more reasonable estimate, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get ready really early so that we have a lot of time to uh to do outer wilds things tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I've been I've been wanting to get back to certain things like as I was watching Matt's playthrough. So it will be fun and uh we have a lot of clips to watch and you know apparently maybe question mark will have a special guest i don't i don't know we'll we'll see if that works out if that happens if that's the thing that really anybody wants to happen or that math wants to participate in we'll see um but thank you all so much for hanging out i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night and i hope i'll see you next time And of course, if you are in the future on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed as well. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, it's twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Um, oh, and then there's like my other YouTube channel also where you can also subscribe or you could like join as a member for some cool perks like emoji. Anyway, I'm I'm tired. I'm gonna I'm gonna wind down and go to bed and uh thanks for watching. <laughs>